Let me start by saying thank you to all our women veterans. Thank you for your service. I know you hear that all the time, and it probably seems like just words. But as a delegate, I wanted to put those words into action. I wanted to make sure that after you served, you were taken care of, that you received all the benefits that you earned, and that you knew your sacrifice meant something to all of us. I grew up in a military family, and when I was elected to the House of Delegates, I joined the Veterans Caucus and asked to be appointed to the Board of Veterans Services. I listened to the challenges that women veterans face, and I put together a series of women veteran roundtables where issues could be shared. I think these roundtables helped open the door. It took several years, but I finally got the position of Women Veterans Coordinator funded. And look at what we have been able to do working together. Our efforts have taken wings and we've been able to identify and address issues. We have been able to provide connections and we have put resources toward the issues so important to our women veterans. We've been able to put the issues of women veterans front and center and to increase public awareness. This year, finally, miracle, I was able to get funding for an additional woman veterans coordinator position at the Department of Veterans Affairs. So I ask you to stay with me, to keep working with me and help us keep moving forward. I am committed to working for you. And when I say thank you for your service in uniform, I also say thank you to all of you and all you do to make the road better for the women who follow behind you.